Hi there everyone. Well, I know you all want to crack JE with flying colors. You want to enter your dream college and make yourself and your parents proud, isn't it? But tell me one thing. Is there any way you can guarantee your success? Think. Yes, there is. There is one single word which defines your success, which determines your success, which guarantees your success. Can you tell me what that word is? Is it hard work? Is it consistency? Is it discipline? It is something which comes even before all of this. It is the word no. You heard me right. It is the word no. Let me share with you a story. This one is a famous tale from Mahabharat. So once upon a time, Guru Dronacharya called the Pandavas, who were the five brothers in the jungle, and decided to take their archery test. What he did is he placed a wooden toy bird onto the branch of a far away tree, and these boys were asked to pierce the eye of the bird using their bow and arrow. At first came Yudhishthir. He placed his arrow onto the bow and took his aim. But before he shot the arrow, Guru Dronacharya stopped him and asked him, Yudhishthir, what all do you see? And Yudhishthir replied, I can see the bird, the branches, the trees, the blue sky. The Guru asked him to put his bow and arrow down on the floor and go back to his place. Everybody was surprised that why Yudhishthir was not given an attempt to take a shot at the bird's eye. But anyway, next was Bhim. Bhim also placed his arrow onto the boat, took his aim, but again Guru stopped him and asked him, What all do you see? And he replied, I can see the trees and the different types of fruits hanging onto them. We all know Bhim was a big time foodie, right? And to this, Guru Dronacharya said, Well, you can put your arrow and bow down and go back to your place. Similar thing happened with Nakul and Sehdev as well. The same question was asked to them to which they replied that they are able to see the bird, the branches, the trees, the monkeys jumping from one tree to the other, the leaves, etc. And they were also asked to lay down their bow and arrow and go back to their places. Last came Arjun. The moment he took his aim, again Guru Dronacharya asked him, Arjun, what all do you see? To which he replied, I can see the bird's eye, Guruji. Again Guru Dronacharya asked him, Well, what all do you see, Arjun? He said, I can only see the bird's eye. Guruji smiled and asked him to take a shot. Well, the arrow went straight towards the bird's eye, moved past it, piercing it perfectly. It was a moment of celebration and Guru Dronacharya was immensely proud of Arjun. But hey, tell me one thing. Was this just luck or is there some justification behind Arjun hitting the eye of the bird perfectly. What do you think? You know, when you say no to the 99 things that are not important, that is when you have the time and the energy and the space to say yes to that single most thing which is important. This is exactly what Arjun did. He said no to the branches, the leaves, the trees, the monkeys, the fruits, to all the distractions. And instead, he said yes to his target, to the eye of the bird. And that is why his shot was a success. You know, many people say that the biggest or the most powerful weapon Arjun had was his divine Gandhiv bow. But I believe it's not the bow. His most powerful weapon is his laser beam focus. It is... The ability to separate the right from the wrong. It is the ability to choose target over distractions. 
And that's why today I want to ask you, what do you see? What do you see? Is it the different types of fruits which are hanging on the trees, which represents the distractions or the temporary pleasures? Or is it the eye of the bird, which is symbolic of your target, your goal of clearing the JE exam? I hope you understand the logic that wherever you place your focus, that is where all your physical and mental energy goes. So if you choose to focus on the hanging fruits, it would mean that all your energy and stamina will get used up in the distractions like scrolling through social media or binge watching some web series or just procrastinating and killing time. As a result, you will not be left with enough energy, stamina and willpower to concentrate on the eye of the bird, which is your target, your goal, cracking J. So the moral of the story is start saying no to all the things that take you away from your goal. Because then unconsciously you are choosing to say yes to all those things which are taking you closer to your goal. Because at the end of the day, it is your choice. So make it wisely. And before I leave, there's just one last thing that I want to say. Clearing the J exam is not about how much time you are spending preparing for it or studying for it. It is about how little time you are spending not doing that.